Welcome to Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Well, routine weather will be found until the weekend. As we roll through today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the weather across the western United States will basically just go through the motions. We're not going to be as hot. We are going to cool off a little today. Yesterday, we did have some record high temperatures across portions of Wyoming and Nebraska, but we're not going to be quite as hot today. More cloudiness today will mean slightly cooler temperatures. We'll continue to have a few afternoon and evening thunderstorms here and there. We did yesterday. There's nothing remarkable. Just your garden variety late day thunderstorm or two will pop up in some areas. Watch out for some strong wind gusts near them. As we work our way into Friday and the weekend, the coverage of thunderstorms will go up. Temperatures are also gonna cool off a bit by mid to late in the weekend, and next week is not gonna be as warm. We'll show you why here in a moment. This is the current upper level pattern. A couple of features to highlight. We've got this west coast low that's just kind of spinning around. It's stationary for now. But that southwest wind flow aloft continues, and we still have a high pressure ridge over the central and southern Rockies, keeping us very warm. The main jet stream is going up along here, west to east, with this cutoff low here eventually wanting to come this way later on. Now, as we go on into the weekend, this is where it's going to be cooler. We're going to see an area of low pressure that was off the west coast move east, finally. That's going to bring in some cooler air, and we're optimistic that some needed rain is coming to this area here. The western slope of Colorado, western Wyoming, the Wasatch Front of Utah, the Pacific Northwest, going to get wet and cooler as that system comes in. This guy right here, that's a tropical system that needs to be watched for the Gulf of Mexico and into the Gulf Coast region of the United States. That'll be something coming in late this weekend and early next week that needs to be watched. By next Tuesday and Wednesday, that trough then comes right over the Rockies and pushes cooler air in. You can see that the high pressure ridge is gone. We've got some waviness in the jet stream. So this is gonna lead to cooler weather next week. It's not gonna be nearly as warm this weekend and next week, especially let's say late in the weekend as we get into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So this summer heat we've had this week will pull back next week. Temperatures are gonna not be terribly cold, just a lot closer to average. With the moisture coming with that trough, there will be a bigger influx of moisture coming in this weekend. Now this is the forecasted precipitation through Friday afternoon. You can see blotches of gray and green and a little bit of blue out there. So there's gonna be those pop-up thunderstorms, we call them, just during the heat of the day, you get a few afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms popping up a little bit. You can see that Eastern Colorado, that really needs it, Southeast Wyoming, Western Nebraska, the panhandles here, have got some chances for showers and thunderstorms, but I gotta warn you, you just can't count on these to water your lawn or your garden. They're going to be kind of random spaced apart. However, look at the change. Once we get past Friday, if we were to look at the weekend through the middle of next week, you see that watch western Wyoming, eastern Idaho, watch the Wasatch Front of Utah, and watch western Colorado. When you go to this period, notice we have more blue and yellow in those areas and then back up, up to here including the Wasatch Front of Utah and areas of western Wyoming. These areas really need it. Colorado's western slope is really, really dry. Southwest Colorado as well. There's been well below average precipitation here since the beginning of May in western and southwestern Wyoming and northeastern Utah and eastern Idaho. So some needed rain coming to those areas. Now with that trough moving on through, you're going to see temperatures getting cooler as well. Looking into the longer term, you can see that next week's temperatures in the west, look at all the blue and green, are not nearly as warm. The heat we have here now moves into the nation's midsection. So yes, it's been very warm this week. We've got many warm days coming, but temperatures do pull back for several days later this weekend and into next week. Thanks for listening and watching the Day Weather Podcast. Have a great Tuesday. We'll talk to you tomorrow.